On the eve of last year's federal election, Tony Abbott's message seemed clear. What about uh, public broadcasters, Mr Abbott, another soft target? Are uh, the ABC and SBS in the firing line? Uh, I, I, I trust everyone actually listened to what Joe Hockey has said uh, last week and again this week. Uh, no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions, no change to the GST and no cuts to the ABC or SBS. But despite the then opposition leader quoting Joe Hockey in that pledge not to cut funding to the ABC and SBS, on Wednesday, Communications Minister Malcolm Turnbull appeared to suggest the opposite. The Prime Minister said that in one interview, I think the night before the election. But uh, Joe Hockey and I had made it very clear on a number of ABC programmes, in fact, uh, that we, that if there were going to be cuts across the board, as plainly there would have to be, across the board of government, I mean, to um, address the budgetary problems, the budget deficit and so forth, then the ABC and SBS couldn't be exempt. Mr Turnbull was speaking to the ABC's 7.30 programme, hours after confirming that the government plans to cut $254 million of ABC funding and over $25 million of SBS funding. My aim is to lead a no surprises, no excuses government that says what it means and does what it says. Is it seriously argued that the public broadcasters should be exempt from the spending cuts that apply to almost every other de government department and service? The communications minister says that in promising no cuts during the election campaign, the coalition was differentiating between funding cuts and efficiency savings. We will be seeking to address uh, waste and inefficiencies and not, as some people were urging us to do, um, you know, cut the ABC's budget with the intent of reducing its digital presence or its so you voters, know, broadcasting activities. Voters have misinterpreted and they shouldn't have taken no cuts as no cuts. They should have been passing Mr Abbott's comments and Mr Hockey's comments well, and your comments to try to figure out exactly what that well, meant. Well, look, you know, I, I mean, I've, I've defended the Prime Minister on this uh, today and, and earlier in the week. And I, I can only assume that what Mr Abbott was referring to, or was thinking about anyway, uh, was the proposition that there would be cuts in with the intent of reducing ABC services. You sure. must understand that for voters, oh, when no. someone says no cuts, you think no cuts. No, no, look, I, 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 can, I understand that, but, but, but to, to accept that Tony Abbott meant the ABC and SBS out of all of the agencies of government would be exempt from any savings measure. To accept that, you would have to assume that he had decided on the eve of the election to overrule and contradict the very carefully considered statements that Joe Hockey and I had been making. Now, okay. you know, that's, that, that's a big call too. The cuts to the ABC represent 4.6% of the corporation's budget and could lead to the loss of 500 jobs, the closure of Foreign Bureau and the axing of state-based editions of 730.